it is February 4. No, it's not February 4, it's February 5. Let's change this date. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to learn for your summer since. Please guide us, Lord, give us wisdom and understanding from above, especially my students, also those who have not yet arrived. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> uh, what were we doing last time? I, I think I did not disturb you last time. I was... Yeah, the other other week. <clears throat> I was just letting you try it until where will you arrive, uh, succeed. Correct. But we already made form. We already made uh, something that can submit and insert and search. Did we make a search? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe we'll make search today. <coughs> okay. Let's see where our virtual PC. <coughs> Advanced web development. Okay, this one. If you don't know what to do, you pray. Many times I don't know what to do and I pray and then God tells me what to do. Life is simple. Beat Nami. <clears throat> if God doesn't tell you what to do, that means you can find it out yourself. <laughs> so... <laughs> That is one I, before I was praying about something, God was not answering my prayer. And I read in Ellen White writings how prayer works. And I found out God will not do for you what you can do for yourself. <laughs> You're just lazy. <laughs> I wonder what is the password for this one. Sometimes you just have to try and try and try. not the machine. Maybe the other one. By the way, we can start many virtual machines at the same oh I'm not showing this thing.
We can start many virtual machines at the same time. So like many computers at the same time. So I have many computers. I have uh, this one is IP address is 192.168.56.101. This one is 192.168.56.102. <laughs> and I can have as many as my computer can have, can run. Let me see how busy it is. <laughs> Both virtual machines are not doing anything, but the whole CPU is already half busy. <laughs> That's why virtual machine is not nice. It is slow. Everything that you try to do, it is translated to something else by the host operating system. Instead of going directly to the hardware, you have software that pretends to be hardware. And everything you tell it, that software will go to operating system and tell it another. <clears throat> so the CPU is busy, and we didn't have it, we're not even asking it to do anything. It looks like the hard disk is busy. The memory is also full. <laughs> if I start a web browser, it will start to to I know page out. <clears throat> so I'm going to shut down the other one. Let me just find out which one is the... Because we... Oh, we are supposed to be in 103. Okay, I think it's not this one. I'll shut down this one. To save memory and CPU power, I think I'll save... This is 102. <clears throat> the site can't be reached because I haven't started uh, this one. I remember last time we created a new, a new uh, virtual machine from scratch, so that I can teach you forms and apps. So I'm now powering on the other virtual machine. There are two ways to learn, to watch and to do, and to repeat both, right? I tried to observe, to let you do it. I think you are stuck, so you watch again. The more you watch, the more you get familiar with it, <clears throat> until you are able to do. We will just go loop, loop, loop until you are able to do. And when you are able to do, we will still make 
so that you will be fast. Yeah? My friends, so that you will be fast. The way to be fast is to do many times, so you don't have to think too much, yeah? Me, I think, I think I'm fast. You know what, class? I think I'm fast. It's ugly, but I, I make fast. So other people want me to stop making because by the time they try to start, I'm finished already and... <laughs> <clears throat> Because there are so many things to do. Yeah? I think there are so many things to do. Not only transactions, especially AI. Wow. Something we don't understand, but it's working. Okay, I'm wondering where the files are. I think it's in Opt Media, uh, Opt Vietnami Apache HT Docs. <coughs> What's here? Aha! We are studying forms. If I remember correctly, okay, it has loaded. <clears throat> we made a form. The HTML looks like this. The form looks like this rendered. When we submit something, life story. I saw a computer. I tried to use it. It broke down. Because we did not know how to use it. I promise I will never touch a computer again. That lasted for 30 minutes. <laughs> and then I had to fix the computer. Okay. <clears throat> password, this is a password. Dormitorian, okay. So this is the data. It submitted. How many kinds of uh, methods can you submit data? One or two, or three. My question is wrong. I taught you two, but there are many other ways. I say, I taught you about get, you remember when everything goes to URL, and then post, yes, sir. There is also put and other things that maybe you will invent yourself. So there is no limit. But most popular there is only post and, uh, post and get. <clears throat> So my question is wrong. Anyway, our form is submitting. And if I remember correctly, we have a list that PHP here, which shows all of the contents yeah, inside the database. And let's see what is the code in list.php. I don't have Joe editor. Pico list.php. <clears throat> and this is the, I have not explained. Do I have explained this one? I can explain again, yeah? Okay, okay. No problem. <clears throat> the more I explain, the more I understand also my code. <laughs> okay, my friends. I will go to the board so that I will... You see, this webcam is very strong. I have the same webcam. It fell 100 times, but it's still working. It's called Logitech. Logitech, mine is C920. Every blogger has that webcam. Every blogger starts with C920. And then they go to complicated things. 
see it's still working but i'm going to change it to blackboard sim do you know obs okay very good you know what i'm doing i'm going to make another scene or i'm going to only put uh, myself Oh, it should be a scene. I have to turn off the background removal. It's not nice. Let's make it 1080 by... transform to full screen yes So here, the PG connect connects to the database, and there's a string connection. If you have a secret password, you can do that put here. So be careful when you publish your source code. Sometimes you forget to remove the password. And what some people do is they separate the connection string to another PHP, and they don't publish that, that, that PHP. Because it will show their password. Yeah? So, and then we said that uh, with this query, with this connection, that connection PG SQL, right? And PG query documentation says if the query is successful, it will return something else than zero. If it's zero, this one will become true. Not zero is true. So, this means if no result, you echo error. And then we make a table, and the table loops from zero row until the how many number rows? This PG number rows returns the how many rows is the result. The result has been it will return of the result. And I plus plus is just a loop like in Java, right? I know this one. PR is a table row. Why? We have table start, table end. And for each TR, each TR, we have many TP, like the columns. Yes, sir? We have many TP. So inside each TR, and then let's say I just put the slash TR because it works. I also just put slash TP because it works, and I save uh, bytes. It's not standard, but all the browsers work like that. So you can save a little bytes. 
transmission and uh, okay. So for each inside each TR, it should have many TDs. So I look from I look the date from zero to the number of numpins. Numpins is how many uh, columns in the result. Yeah, how many columns? So it will look from zero to over how many num uh, how many bits? The last plus going up, and it will make a TD, and it will concatenate it in the result. Result is most important, most bar, most favorite function because it will get the result. This row, this column, so it can get anything. Uh, in the partition, in the in the result, so it will display TR, PR, and TD, result TD, 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 and the the browser will get the HTML content, and it will look like this. And it will look like this. Where is my background removal module? And where is my... Yeah, it will look like this. What happened? I disappeared. It will look like this class, you see? And the view source of this one is, no, no, this is not that list. The view source of this list, right click view source, is like this. Oh, but this is the output. <clears throat> Select asterisk from people. Where is my password and my life story? I think we are supposed to see that one, but let me exit this one and see why. Pico form. We have the form, but I think we do not uh, save it. <clears throat> so, you see, insert into people name. I only insert the name. You understand? Okay, let me explain this one again. Do you understand this one already or you want me to explain again? Explain again? Since you did not answer, maybe you are thinking what to answer. Let me just change my scene. You know what? It's better to have a source copy. There is no module for source copy. I will make a module for webcam. No, I think it has to be a source copy. Anyway, we'll just turn off the filter. <coughs> So to explain <clears throat> again this one, this is the form submit. We have a form HTML. We have a form submit. The form that submits to form and submit HTML, it uses post. Both of them should use the same. So the variables are in post. I just echo, echo, echo to make sure that they are there. This is part of the troubleshooting. Sometimes you make a program, it doesn't work, so you don't know where it is. So there are, I step by step uh, make the program. Like I make the form and make sure it, it, it's the form really submitted. And then after that one, I insert the database and I check the database. It's, it's really there. <coughs> if you make everything straight and it doesn't work, then you are guessing which part didn't work. Yeah. So, but when I make the insert, I only use the name. <laughs> I did not put the other things. So <clears throat> I did that for simplicity, just to prove that it's going inside the database. 
but he, he will make now the real one. He will put everything inside the inside the insert. Yes. It will look complicated, but it's simple. It's just you just add in the you add the columns and rows. <coughs> so okay. First of all, I want to see uh, user Postgres, what user do we use, and what database, also Postgres database. Boxless TD in Postgres lists the rows, uh, the tables. In MySQL, it is uh, show databases and show tables, I think. <clears throat> and Postgres boxless TV shows the tables. So, if you want to describe the schema of the table, you can just type boxless D people, the name of the table, and it will show the data dictionary or the schema or the fields and the data types and other characteristics of the table. Mm -hmm. We have an ID integer and everything else is text. Very good. We can just put anything inside. <clears throat> the text, uh, uh, the text uh, data type is my favorite because it consumes, because there is var car. Var car is variable character, but it has a limit. <clears throat> the text has no limit. <laughs> You can put as many texts as inside. So why put limit? Anyway, the var card and the text consume the same amount of space. Four bytes plus how many letters? Okay. <clears throat> My friends, let's edit. You know what? I want to see always the no. <laughs> how can I connect to this database? <clears throat> Maybe I will I will I will print screen. Okay, never mind. Form submit. So <clears throat> Insert into people, uh, course, life story, uh, dormitorian, cafeterian, what else? Name, course, life story, what is the AMP? Story. No, it's supposed to be story. Which dorm? Okay. <clears throat> there is no story here. Do you know how to add a field in the, in a table? This is how you do alter uh, people. I'm just guessing. I think we should put add <laughs> story text. Maybe alter table people. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Now the table people has a story field. How do you find the 
the how do you find the syntax for alter table? You, in Postgres, you can just put backslash h alter table. It will show you the syntax. You can guess the syntax from here. So let us edit the uh, form submit. <coughs> the variable name is not li story, it's life sto it's story. Yeah. Which door? Yeah. This is the complicated thing, my friends. <coughs> the line will become very long. So we have an option to cut the line into many pieces which I'm going to do so that it's not hard to read. So, what are we going to do, my friends? What I'm doing here, I'm just making an SQL statement and I'm appending the, this string into that SQL statement. Values. I'll make it look all the same so that it's easy to read. So this is uh, this is what it's supposed to read, my friends. And then we should have plenty of this. Oh, I can cut and paste. I found out control K is cut, control U is paste, and it will paste line by line. So I cut the line and paste it, and it has it is many now. So I'm going to put name and course and life story and dormitorian. No, no, no. <coughs> And which door? I think that's all. Control K is cut. <coughs> Save. Okay. Before I explain, I will test first. <coughs> if things are working. Error. That means something is not working. So let us visually check first. All double quotes have partner. This one, this one. Oh, this one is wrong. We should have double quotes. <coughs> Do you know why? <coughs> Because the double code should be balanced on this. This one, 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 so, we will have a very long insert statement. <coughs> we make this statement as this line, and then we append this to this SQL, we append the append. Tilde equals is the same as SQL assign SQL plus or assign. <coughs> Let's save. <coughs> and then, We'll try again, my friends. I will just click. <coughs> you listen. If, if I just click submit, all of the things I type will be resubmitted. You understand? If, if that happens in real life, and somehow you click back and click resubmit, and it will say, are you sure you want to resubmit? And you say, resubmit again, you will have twice the data. Yeah, remember? <clears throat> so when you make a web app, 
you will if some if the user does this, you will have twice the data if <coughs> you are not careful. So as you see, my friends, <coughs> I, it is my it is my habit to echo SPL. Why? So that I know what's happening with the variable. Because if you don't know what's happening, then how are we supposed to know uh, how to troubleshoot? <coughs> that's why. That's why. That's why our result is. Let's see. Let's go to list.php. Aha! <clears throat> you know what? It's ugly. We will make it... We will make it a little bit nice. A little bit only. So that it's easy to understand. Where is the list? The easiest way to make this a little bit nice is to put a border. Ah. And then we will see it and reload. Oh, you see? <laughs> it's still ugly, but it's easier to understand. Okay, so there is no field, there are no field names. I think this one is the ID number. This is the name, this is the course. I don't know what this blank is. We forgot to put something, I forgot to put something. I wonder what it is. There is a blank that we forgot. <coughs> ID, name, course, oh, password. <coughs> password, okay. We will do the password later because it's about security. So this is the password and cafeteria, dormitorian, which dorm and the story. Oh, diba? Our data, we are things, uh, our table now, <coughs> can accept data. Do you want to talk about password now? Okay. Let's talk about password early. <clears throat> if we store the password, we will see the password. And seeing the password is not nice. It's not nice for your health. Because your mind will go full of passwords and you will get sick. <laughs> Too much information. So, and the other, seriously, if your database has lots of passwords, that means you are not an educated programmer. You know why? Because when people connect your database, they will see all the passwords of their other users which will tempt them to try all the passwords in all the other Facebook and Gmail and ATM. <clears throat> so it will make more uh, scammers than there are already many already now. So the standard <clears throat> behavior for us programmers is to encrypt the password. <clears throat> when we encrypt the password, we don't know what it is. <clears throat> If we don't know what it is, how do you know if the password is right or wrong? <clears throat> Are you guessing or you are pretending you don't know? Or you don't know? You don't know? Wow, now I have the privilege of being the one who told you how it works. <clears throat> you know how it works? Now I am excited because you don't know. If you already know you are pretending, I will just skip. <clears throat> this is how the password encryption works. 
For example, like this class. You watch my watch the screen. If I make a password win win, <coughs> it will be win win. But there is a <coughs> excuse me. There is an encryption <coughs> algorithm. There are many. One of them example is MD5. The most common and easy to destroy also. <laughs> <clears throat> if I make password win win pasamba, the MD5 is different. MD5 is called a checksum. A checksum is a sum of the letters. <clears throat> it's, it's a sum of the letters of what the password is. And it is gone through many formulas. For example, do you know the square and the square root. You know this from elementary and high school, right? It's very easy to square something, right? Because you just multiply it by itself. <clears throat> Is it easy to square root something? If it's a perfect square, it's easy. If it's not perfect square, uh, only the mathematicians know how. It's a secret. <laughs> but it's not a secret. There's formula for square root is open source. Our teachers taught us how to do it, but we don't remember it how, how to do it, right? Actually, you just divide it, yeah? Or oh, I forgot about it. Anyway, <clears throat> class, squaring is easy, but square rooting is difficult. That's how the hash works. So, <clears throat> There is a formula that is complicated that makes the string into a hash. And we can use this as password encryption. Because from this hash, it is almost impossible to compute what is the password. Can you imagine, class? <clears throat> because of the complicatedness, even the computer will take many years to compute it back. So. At you should change your password every few many years before the hackers find out what their password is. <clears throat> but MD5 is not so secure. That's just for example, one of the ways of encrypting. The idea is you encrypt the password and you save it in the database. You don't know the password. How do you check if you make your login form? How do you now check if the user entered the correct password? You don't know? Wow, I have the opportunity of telling you <laughs> how to do it. You just encrypt the password that we entered, and then you compare it if it's the same as the one encrypted in the database. So we can check if the password is the same, even if we don't know the password. But we know the encryption, diba? Right? Because if you encrypt the same thing, the same result will come out. And if the hackers get your MD5, they get the encrypted, but they don't know the password, right? Therefore, your table is not interesting for hackers. <clears throat> you understand? It's amazing, yeah? How do we check for the password if we don't want to know the password? How do we know if it's right or wrong? We encrypt what they type, and then we compare the result with what is encrypted, which we say. Oh, diba, diba? So that's how IOLIS works, that's how my life book works, that's how Linux works, that's how Windows works, that's how all the passwords work in the whole world. If you see a database where the password is not encrypted, the programmer should be fired. <clears throat> the programmer did not go to school or was sleeping or was absent when he went to school. His teacher should, refine, uh, his, uh, should uh, remove his grade. <laughs> So if I discover you are making a, an app that, ha, that is not encrypted password, I will request for change of grade to F. <laughs> Even if you already got A. Of course, they will not approve it because it's already A. <clears throat> but I'm telling you that because the hackers... <laughs> so that other... By the way, when I, when I see... A, whenever we see a web application or whatever where the passwords are not encrypted, Everybody knows he's a foolish programmer. <laughs> okay? So, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so,
So that's how it works. Now we are going to encrypt <coughs> with MD5 only. By the way, let's ask Google, what is the secure way to... Strongest way to encrypt, that is in 2023, 2013. <clears throat> Safe password You know what? There is no safe password. <laughs> because it is safe here in the manual, MD5 and SHA-1 are fast and efficient, but they are very common. So many people use them. With modern techniques and modern computer equipment, it's easy to brute force. You know what brute force is? <clears throat> you will try A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then all the other keyboard characters. You know what? After you finish all the keyboard characters, what do you do next? A, A. A, B, A, C, A, E. After you finish Z, Z. A, A, A. A, A, A B. That is brute force. One by one. You know? I... My dad bought a suitcase. It is very cheap, but they don't know the password. <laughs> Did I tell you that story? So he started, he said, I have many, plenty of time and less money, so I will just buy a second-hand suitcase, but they don't know the password. Anyway, there are only three numbers. So he said, only 1,000 tries. <clears throat> so Friday afternoon, no class, he started with 000. zero, zero. 111, uh, 000, 001, 002. After many hours, he found the password. You know what the password is? 999. <laughs> <laughs> the password is 999. <clears throat> the worst case, yeah? So the best case is 500 try, and the best case is one try. If he started with 999 going down, he could have gotten it in one try. <laughs> but he started with zero. <laughs> the average case is 500. <laughs> because you get the worst from the best, and you after you, you try all of them, the average will be 500 in the middle. <clears throat> so MD5 is very hard to, to break. because, But with modern equipment, you can break. <clears throat> But it's still hard, my friends, it's still hard. Because the longer your password is, the harder it is to brute force. Because you're going to try every letter, every number, one by one, and try if the encrypted password is the same as the result. So the longer your password, the harder it is to find out. That's why my passwords are very long. I type the whole song in the hymnal. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
which will be that the hard, the longer the password is, the harder it is to brute force. So, my friends, I just want to take uh, time to take talking about security because I like to talk about security because there are many hackers now. So, somebody made a rainbow table. A rainbow table is a table of passwords that they already brute force. Instead of trying one by one, they just brute force everything until eight letters and all the results they saved in a database. <laughs> so if you see this MD5, you query the, you download the, 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 the uh, rainbow table, they call it rainbow table. Do you download the rainbow table, which is plenty there in the internet, and you then just query the database, select where MD5 is equal to like this, you will find the password. That's why all password uh, algorithms, uh, all password uh, utilities now, they, they make sure it's more than eight characters because all the rainbow tables are until eight only. And they make sure there are characters that are not in the alphabet and numbers because the rainbow tables only concentrate on that. Okay. So enough of password, password thing. To review, how do you know if password is correct? You encrypt it and you compare it with the encrypted one. So that that design enables us to maintain password tables without exposing the password to ourselves and to other hackers, to other people who are looking at the database. Okay, now let's save. <clears throat> I will just use MD5 even if it's not secure because it's common. And it's the easiest way. You know, I'm, you know why I'm saying it's not secure? I'm teaching microprocessors in, in the engineering. Nothing is secure. Your webcam, it can have a CPU inside that sends uh, to China or somewhere. Your keyboard, you know, you, do you know what is inside? There's a computer inside, a CPU that converts all the analog clicks into digital uh, USB transmission. But you can have more, you, maybe they put another CPU there that sends it to wirelessly somewhere. Also your mouse has a computer inside and the technology has become smaller and smaller and low power. You, but people can put things inside there. That's why if you don't trust the manufacturer, don't buy their things. <laughs> because it's very easy to, to put another CPU inside a CPU. There's what we call the the, yeah, because the CPUs are very small now. Okay. You know the server machine? The server machine, there's another computer to turn on the computer. So the, the, the other computer board has its own network card. You can restart the server even if you are not there physically. So how do you know how many computers are inside your computer? Yeah, And what are the other computers doing? You never know, really. Even your cell phone, you never know what it's doing, right? You have a list of tasks, but you are only seeing your main processor. The others you don't see. Okay, so don't worry too much about security. You just know that what things are possible. It's 8.03. Let me check if that watch is correct. Amazing, we still have 30 minutes. You see, if we start on time, we discuss many things. And I'm recording because other people don't know how to wake up early. I understand because I also don't know how to wake up early for mo most of my life. So, it's very nice to sleep at seven o'clock, exactly at seven o'clock to wake up. I feel very nice. But my class is also 7 o'clock, so we have to wake up at 5. Okay, enough of password and <clears throat> sleep uh, theology. <laughs> now let's uh, MD5 that uh, password. Pico form submit. Aha, this is what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm going to add the password here. Where is the password? And then I'm going to cut this 
and pasty. And then I'm going to add the password. Oh, again, just add the password. I should encrypt it. Okay, I will encrypt the password with MD5. I hope this is the correct function name. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to press Control so that my mouse will come out of the VMware uh, of the virtual machine. And then I'm going to... I'm just going to re re reload this one class, yeah? When I reload it, it will resubmit the same old data for the third time, yeah? Because I'm lazy to type things again. Now you see the difference. I think this did not work because you... You know SQL, right? There is a problem. Insert into people. The same sequence should be the same. Meaning is the A. Yes, yes, the chorus. I saw okay, that is the story very long until the until 30 minutes. Dormitory on, cafeteria on, Bulave is dorm. There is no comma. I forgot comma. This did this did not work. I'm just showing you where the problem is. I just saw it. There is no comma. Oh, there is a single code. This is a single code is square. But I know the comma where the is in the comma name. I forgot to put it back. So I don't expect that to work because I forgot to I removed the comma here. Do you understand where it's supposed to be? Every field should have a single code. Divide SQL, field names, double code, data, single code. So I put the data inside single code. And this one, and since there are other field names, I, I remove this one around the I should put it out. So I didn't expect that to work <coughs> because I forgot something. Programmers need to accept their mistakes <laughs> because we are we practice a lot of mistakes. We are it is normal to make mistakes, right? <clears throat> I will just resubmit. It looks okay. It looks okay. We will know it's okay until we see the data inside. So where is the list? Oh, you see, you see, my friends, my friends, we have the encrypted password. Everybody, everybody, back. We have encrypted password now, which we will use it later when we make a login. That is later, long, long time after. When you know how to make a transactional insert like that, like that, I'll teach you how to make the login. That's because it's too difficult. But the idea already told, I already told you, you just compare the password with what they gave. Yeah? If they don't know the password, they can change the password. You can change the password. How do you make a password? You just encrypt something and then you tell them what that something is. Okay, my friends. Now we know how to insert. By the way, how come it's not showing us the it did not tell us if there is error or no error. I will try to eat. I will try to make an error. Let's see what happens. It's supposed to show, show us error. Oh, there is error. See? Error. So my code works. Because the body here. This one has a mistake because I removed the comma. So it's not supposed to work. When we send the query to the database, the result, there is no result. That means there is error. That's why you see here. That's why you see here. It says error. But it did not be anything when we said error. Maybe we should make it red and big. Error. Or maybe we should only display the SQL statement when there is error. Okay, it's very easy to make it red. I'll just take pan. 
color equals red and then we make it B. No, we only just make it B. Ha, very big. It will alarm the user. <laughs> no, not number seven, it's too big. And then we will show the SQL statement. Plus, you see how this error is very big. I'm sure you will not miss this error. Oh, you see? <laughs> it's real error. <clears throat> uh, I displayed the SQL statement. It looks like I displayed the SQL sta statement twice. Yeah. We will not, we will comment this. Remember comment? Line comment is backslash, backslash. In PHP also, in C, in, in Java, they all copied C. Don't be too proud about your Java. They, Copy, it was copied to, from C. <laughs> I don't know where the C people copied it from. Probably from B. You know C? There is another language B. Probably there's another one A. Made by the same person. <clears throat> okay. So, our code class will only display the error if there is error. Now let's remove the error, the intentional error. Okay, I put back the comma, save. Yan. Okay, okay. Okay, no error now. Clean. The problem is there are so many men. My names are there so many times already. <laughs> How do you know if the name is already there? It's not illegal to have two names the same, yeah? right? Because when you are born, your parents do not query a database and see if it's unique. Even in AUP, there are so many... There are people who have the same name. Amazingly, they also have the same birthday. <laughs> so it's not illegal to have the same name. It's not a primary key. There is no problem with having two persons with the same name. Okay. It's just very confusing. What else to do? Class, I'll make it a little bit nice. This is very hard to understand. We should put Field, uh, yeah, field names. The easy way to put field names is like this. Very easy class. I will show you everything in very easy, in web development is very easy. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you. I will just look through the fields. So I'll just make a four dollar j <clears throat> equals zero dollar j is less than pg field uh, num fields of the result <clears throat> and then I'm going to echo table header th no I should echo uh, I will just put a tr here on top yeah and then I'll put a th and pg field name how do I know all these functions I read the uh, I read the all the functions in the PHP reference. Did I tell you to read the PHP manual? I read everything there, my friends. Don't think it's a miracle. I read everything there, all the name of the functions and all the descriptions. And when I need something, I just the Lord re reminds me what I read. All right. The Bible says. He will teach you all things, including PHP manual. Whatsoever you read. <laughs> but if you did not read, <clears throat> don't expect miracle because uh, God doesn't create miracle when you can read. If you cannot read, he will help you to understand maybe if you are blind. But if you can read and you are not reading, you are lazy. Okay, 
Let's see if there will be nice field names. <laughs> I will just reload this list. Ah, there is nothing. <laughs> there is nothing, my friends. There is an error. J0, J num fields. Okay. If you can guess the error, you will be very good programmer. What is, what is wrong? I don't see anything wrong. This is the process if you don't see anything wrong, but it doesn't work. You comment. You comment what you just did. And then you save, and then you try again. F5. It works. So there is something in the... Here, there is something here that is... Uh, <clears throat> I will co uncomment the loop, but things inside the loop I will not. Co I will. I will leave commented. F five. It's okay. I will comment. I will uncomment this thing inside the loop. Delete. Field name rest. Oh, I forgot to put dollar j here. The field name. In this result, which which column is supposed to show oh, what happened? Save. What is save? Save. Control O. F five. Wow. We have here it is. The password is uh, in Victor supposed to. Question, question. Eight sixteen. <clears throat> so I will just repeat explanation, explaining. This part we 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 the SQL statement for retrieving the data. This part we connect to the database. This part we send the SQL statement to the database. This part we check if there is an error. By the way, if there is an error, some people they put here die. There's a function named die. It will just terminate the execution of the PHP. So it will not continue. It will just show the error and it will do nothing else. So you can do that die or you can just say error, like what I did now. <clears throat> and then we display the table headers and then we display the table rate rows and the table columns. Okay. Very easy, right? Very easy, yeah? Very easy. After you do it many times, it becomes very easy. That's why I will require you to do it many times. <clears throat> okay, my friends. <clears throat> Next meeting, we will. Uh, I'll show you search. Search, yeah. Actually, it's very easy. Search is very easy. I will ask you to maybe if if you want. Challenge, you can just, actually, it's just select, for example, asterisk from people where name has been, something like that. <clears throat> In Postgres, there is a regular expression operator till the asterisk, this one, till the asterisk. So this is my favorite search operator. If you want to search for something, a name that has pass somewhere there in the middle, you can just say, uh, select a search from people who are named, it's called a regular expression operator. Regular expression class is amazing. If you think encryption is amazing, I will tell you regular, has anybody told you about regular expression? 
No? Okay, I will have the great opportunity to teach you regular expression. This will change your life <laughs> or add possibilities to your life. For example, class, since we cannot uh, teach uh, search anymore, <clears throat> not enough time, I'll show you something. <clears throat> this one will show the names. Okay, we don't have enough names. That's why I think I should insert more names. I will just put names class. Example of regular expression. I want a name that starts with W. I can just put W. W will show me names that have W. If I want only names that start with W, I'll put uh, carrot. It will only show names that start with W. <coughs> If I want names that end in W, I'll put dollar. Oh, Andrew ends in W. All right? <clears throat> so the manual for regular expressions is here. You just type regular expressions. And you will find all of the A wonderful things about regular expression. Yeah, you are not a. Uh, when you know regular expression, you are a programmer. <laughs> no, you are a better programmer. Okay. Your life will be easier. <clears throat> okay, wait, wait, wait. Now. Question mark means zero or one occurrences of the preceding. So if you put uh, A question mark, if your string has zero or one of A, it will return true. Asterisk, zero or more. Yeah. Oh, question mark is zero or one. Asterisk is zero or more. Plus is one or more. Oh. If you want to search for names that have multiple, uh, that have two or three ends, there is no name that has two ends. <clears throat> Maybe there, is, there are. You can specify like that. So that is a string matching. For example, all file names that have JPEG, you are using regular expression. All file names that end in HTML, all file names that end in PHP. But that's regular expression. <clears throat> so this is very powerful for string processing. Uh, regular expression. The syntax. That's the mathematics. The syntax is like this. And more, for example, like this. It's, this is not our topic. This is just a bonus. 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 It's not our class. I know. But there are many nice things that I don't see in uh, your curriculum. I, maybe it's nice. Nice for me. That's why I like to share it. You can make a library, a Google with this one. Regular expression. By the way, you can type regular expressions. If you know how to use this, you type this in most search engines. And you will find more things than other people who don't understand regular expressions. Because the people in Google understand regular expressions. <clears throat> okay, my friends, I think it's already time. Oh, it's Lampas time now.
let's pray. Akarin Yan, thank you for the opportunity to learn for years from our sins. Please continue to lead us, Lord, and guide us because we totally depend on your wisdom and understanding from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next meeting.